let's dive right into um, looking back this past Saturday. Um, it felt very strange. Um, a Saturday WWE pay-per-view and then like the day after the Rumble not being a Monday to get ready to tune in to Raw. Um, but the Royal Rumble was this past weekend. Um, and let's dive right into talking about that. Is there any match in particular you guys want to talk about? I think the opener, um, is definitely a fairly noteworthy one with, uh, Seth freaking Rollins and, and Roman Reigns. Of course, we saw Rollins with the shield entrance, the shield gear, the, um, finish to the match being the DQ, uh, Roman Reigns walking out as, um, still as universal champion, but Rollins picking up the win. Um, what are you guys' thoughts on that one? Uh, my thoughts are Devin should probably have your picks for the next month because Seth nope. Freak and Rollins won, and that was the agreement. No, 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 no. The agreement was Seth was going to go out as champion, which he did not. Wait, shut yes, up. Yes, Jim. What was that? Can we get Devin's input on this? Devin, is that how you remember the bet being? And then whoever has the bigger peen is the one telling the truth. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> um, yeah, no, that was uh, the deal. Was that Rollins had to be champion? That's what I said. That there was no way that Rollins was going to be champion. Hey, Miguel Cat's back. I mean, I'm sure you guys have Hello. Miguel Cat is back. Hello, Miguel Cat. Yeah. Hello, he's got see, nine uh, Mike Rawl GM is back. Good. Um, let's see. Head of the kitty table at Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, is that Roman Reigns? Um, Miguel Cat says, Mark that when Ivory came out to the right to censor theme. 60 that year was, old Ivory. 60 year old yeah. Ivory. 60 years young. 60. Looking fantastic for 60. Oh, God, she looked great. Um, but yeah, I mean, what Ryan, I'm her. sure I'm sure you've you've pulled the audio clip to prove um I don't have to prove. I levied the accusation. You have to prove yourself innocent. I mean, I'm the host. I, I can I can say if you can prove me wrong, I'll gladly. I, I will take the word of Mike. I I trust Mike. Mike say uh, he's the raw GM, and uh, I, I trust what Mike would say. If Mike says Devin should have your picks, Devin should have your picks. That's what Mike says. If my, if Mike says that, of course. Mike, where I mean, you if at? Mike does not say that. Well, I I, I believe in whatever Mike says. I mean, isn't it innocent until proven guilty? So I'm going to claim that I am still picking until proven otherwise. Um, oh, there it goes. We're all GM. Sorry. Uh, I don't lose my picks. Well, our all GM has an issue with Devin, too. I don't know who our raw GM is. I don't right, either. We, but said, we said Mike. We didn't say the raw GM got I mean, said. I mean, I mean, Mike said the raw GM is, is back and good to him, so... Oh, I guess that's almost the same thing then. It is the, exactly the same thing. Almost, but it's not quite. But Devin's lack of input here is swaying me. He towards knows he's believing beat. Oh, he's he really he's is. Is, is, is deciding out. I mean, he's also here. trying to figure out how to type, probably. So. Oh my god. <laughs> I love you, Devin. It doesn't matter. Jesus, doesn't matter. Ryan. Even um, Devin, even if you won fair and square, the odds were stacked against you. Oh, he has oh, weighed see, in. That's what I also think. He has weighed in. Oh, it was the deal was if Rollins was champion. You know what? If I, I wish I gave a little more of a shit because I would absolutely go back and try to find this. Right. Go, well, Mark. I went, just don't Mark care enough. Bye, Mark. Mark. And went this to look shouldn't for it. be a surprise to anybody. I just want to stir right. the pot. I, I told back. you guys on Saturday. I said, find the audio. I will. I will gladly relinquish. Did you really say that? I said that. If you, if you find the audio, I will gladly relinquish for four weeks in a row. That 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 stands for the I'm next I'm not going to do weeks. that, Jim. And you know damn well I'm not going to do that. You're damn right. That's why I'm declaring it because I know you You won't. know damn you know well what? I will. If I knew which episode it was, I might make an attempt. But since I don't know exactly. There you go. See, that's it's that's... either last week or two weeks ago. And I, I can't. I thought it was longer ago than that. Ah, uh, see now, now it's getting now it's getting challenging. Oh, boy, I'll put it out there for, until what is it? Two weeks from now would be the what the seventeenth. If until we can air on the seventeenth, you, you can don't provide have to do it like this. 
If we can do it like this, I'll, you know. Here's what's going to happen. That guy that's watching all of our back archives in like three years will be like, ah, <laughs> Ryan was right. <laughs> yes, he will. And, and then that'll be matter. all the vindication I need. That's fine. You can be right after the fact, and I'll that's never fine. lose my picks. That's the best part. That's fine. Every Everybody wins. Everybody wins at that point. You think Mark's uh, walking his dog right now? Is that what's happening? I have no clue what he's doing. I've never seen him go black for this long and not oh. like just cut the up. Oh, there he is. Oh, uh, well, there he is. Oh, a slow he, fade. What the heck? Does he have a shutter on his on his iPad? Because I'm very confused now, and we can't hear. He's oh, fucking. For God's with sakes. He's no. He's fucking with us. Big. Time. Oh, he got his. He got his ears. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Mark, didn't... try singing. Singing always works better. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> I hate this. Oh, I there hate, you go. I hate it so much. Um, thoughts on the disqualification? I I think that's a great question, Jim. Uh, and we're talking about. What, what dynamite again last night? Because I definitely think MJF had his best match we've seen live. MJF did have his best match. I, I would agree with that. I would certainly agree with that. Well, you said but, we can talk about any match, right? Oh, we're talking about what? I'm talking about the disqualification finish between Seth freaking Rollins and Roman Reigns. Loved it. I thought it was a terrific match. Oh, there Mark's he goes. Gone. There he's gone. <laughs> yep. Sorry, I was prepared Fuck for this on. very moment. <laughs> Fuck around and find out, Mark. Um, right. what was the question? Oh yeah, the DQ match. Uh, I, I thought I, I really I think it like was the, the finish. Why wouldn't they like it? It told a great story. It was a lot of fun. I thought we had some really really close two counts. Um, sure so did. much so that like I was like, oh my god, they're pulling the trigger. Um, what's not to like about it? Roman Reigns finally has a loss. DQ. That's fine, but it's still a loss. It's the first loss on a pay per view, and I think. A couple of years, something like that. His I think first Rollins singles loss in a while, so that's a big deal. Uh so and, and then that it happened to freaking like eh, let's bolster freaking a little bit. I thought it was a terrific match. Freaking from freaking. from the entrance in the shield say, gear, the whole thing from start to finish. I think it was pretty flawless. Yeah. Fine with the finish. I loved the entrance. Loved everything about it. I loved that Jim then lost his picks to Devin for a month, even though he's Certainly fighting didn't. that. He can Certainly deny it. Did, did not happen. Until you until you, until you in, uh, accept it, Jim, you're going to be a denier. <laughs> like, <laughs> and, like Brian Kendrick. No, because <laughs> I'm... Is that what you want, Mr. Kendrick? As the host of this show, I'm declaring that I... Oh, so now you're going Joe Rogan on us. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, not we are... Just because you have a microphone. My text. Um... <laughs> I hope Neil Young will remember a wrestling fan. Don't need him around anyhow. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm I'm still fairly I, I'm fairly certain that I said that Seth would not walk out as champion. You clearly have a better memory than I have, right? And you That's know that too. I'm banking on that as well. That's why I said if somebody can produce the audio, give me the timestamp, whatever, I, I I will listen to it, and I will give up my picks for four weeks. If you can find the audio that says it, that it would be if Seth Rollins won, because I I, th I was I'm fairly certain I put the caveat that he had to walk out as champion. Um, but yeah, I, I like the DQ finish. I think it made ton of sense. It, it, like the whole story up until this point was Seth was talking about Roman can't beat him. You know, Roman can't beat him. His family sucks. You know, he's 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 he sucks. He's worthless like it, the whole story was just trying to get under roman's skin and then roman finally gets his hands on him why the hell does it matter if he gets dq like, he doesn't he doesn't have to beat rollins like he can get dq'd he's still the champ he could walk out and get counted out he's still the champ that doesn't matter rollins had to beat him and you know he he didn't come out as champion i thought it, i thought it was a, a fantastic match and um, until this match Reigns hasn't tasted defeat unless he was with the bloodline. That's the only time he's yeah. lost on television is like a six man tag match with the bloodline. So it furthers the story of like the small little 
chinks in the armor of the bloodline. I love this match. Yeah, it's it's it, it was fantastic. It really I think was. People shit on this Royal Rumble for no reason at all. Yeah, I don't I don't get the hate for this. This show. Rumble wasn't as bad as people are making it out to be. No, I see people like the bottom three. That's horseshit. This Rumble was yeah. real good. Like. Here's the it deal. I think fine. we. I, think I wouldn't we, say real. Okay, good. it was. It was not. It wasn't bottom half. No, it's not bottom half. No, it, it wasn't. It wasn't an all time great. But I, we're also coming off of two. What I thought the last two were really good. Like uh, you know, so maybe this one doesn't stack up to to the last couple. But the the last couple <laughs> were were, I mean, fantastic shows. I mean, people acting like they knew that Ronda was coming back to win. Yeah, like it's like a lot of people did think that was going to happen. I thought she was going to come back. I don't think it was a foregone conclusion that she would win. I I think you can still get Brock. I don't think Brock Lesnar needed to win the Rumble to get where he wants to be. So having him win the Rumble, I don't think was a foregone conclusion either. Brock Lesnar won the Royal Rumble. He did. I mean, when is Brock a factual statement. came out, you knew he was winning, but I don't think that people first saw that happen. Oh God, Mike, I hope you're not right on that one. <laughs> um, yeah, no. When I when Ronda's music hit, I thought, okay, she because I wasn't even 100 percent sold that she was coming back at the Rumble. Um, but like when her music hit, I was like, oh, there's probably your winner. Same thing in the men's. I was like, when Brock's music hit, oh, there, he, Rob, Brock's gonna win. <laughs> like, um, we, we all watched it together. We're watching the 29th entrant come in and then the 30th entrant. And we were all like, who is it? So I don't, I mean, I wasn't shocked. It was Brock. I wouldn't have been shocked if it was somebody from a forbidden door. I wouldn't have been shocked if it was, uh, I don't know, Buddy Murphy. I mean, I wouldn't have been shocked if it was anybody really. <laughs> I would have been shocked. I would have been shocked if it was yeah, Buddy, Buddy Murphy. Murphy would have shocked. Yeah, that's a good point. That's <laughs> I would a real have been good point. Shocked that would have been shocked. Not so much that Murphy's coming back, but they're putting him at the thirty spot. At thirty, um, Miguel Katz says the op- the opener was a good match. You know what? Um, who do you Buddy think Murphy. should face Roman at WrestleMania? Buddy Murphy. <laughs> Buddy Murphy would be a good one. Yeah. <laughs> um. Shane Brock. McMahon would be another good one. I, I think Brock will if if it's somebody different. Like, I think you can roll Seth back again, even though he's not even on SmackDown. Like that that's a WrestleMania match to me as well. Like, I mean, it was it was on the big stage, but I think we're gonna get Brock. I, I don't whether now the question, and we'll address that in a little bit, is 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 Brock going to be WWE champion when he goes in? And Devin, you're out of your mind if you think I fear you. What? What? What do I fear? So I have to do less you work. You fear standing next to him at a urinal. I would oh, fear that. I'm kidding. I, I don't want to feel inadequate. Right. But you know that. that but that's, nobody does. Right. Nobody. Nobody wants to. Nobody wants to do that. Um, but yeah, it I, might I, be. The, I'd be really good with Freakin versus Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. Throw in a no DQ. Option that that this one has to go versus to. Roman Reigns. No, I'm sorry, freaking versus said. Reigns. Oh, shit, <laughs> Seth did. Rollins wrestles himself. <laughs> wrestles would actually be a good match. Let's be honest. That would be a thing. I'd love watching that. You can have Tyler Black as a special guest referee, and I'm tuning in every day. Every but, day. Uh, I th- I really do. Freaking versus Roman Reigns. Put it as no DQ, and uh, well, and let's see it. Versus Veer in a number one contender match for 24. Oh man, five. Veer's coming. You better watch out. That's he came to a, um, to a main event this week. <laughs> he, was, he was actually on main event. <laughs> main event is still a thing. That's apparently. Cool. I, I, I've learned that. Um, Both matches. Yeah, still has not come to Raw though. He's, he's still he's still coming. He's still coming to Raw. Well, um, you know, the first match. <laughs> two two oh five like. What, what's, the, what's the 205? Because it's not his weight. Is it like... See, Jim, it's like the X Division, but 205 is a limit, no limit, limits with no limits and a weight, but no weights division. Got That's it. like the X. The like 105.7, the X. Right, the Etch with Nipsey. Oh, the Etch. <laughs> the Etch. Um, yeah, the women. The women's Rumble match I, I thought was a lot of fun. There was plenty of... Uh, yeah. Um, 
you know, the plenty of returns. I thought that they were scattered throughout, um, throughout the match, like that, you know, everybody kind of got their shine a bit. Um, I thought Mickey James getting eliminated by Lita was the, one of the safest eliminations because, you know, then there's no complaints that she's getting like buried by somebody like low on the roster or anything like that. I think she was in there for 10, 11 minutes, something like that. She eliminated somebody, right? Dana Brooke, I believe. Was it? It was somebody. Somebody. And she's a 24 seven champion. So she is the 24 seven champion. Um, um, the Raw Women's title match. Was there anybody thought, disappointed, Jim? You were disappointed seeing come back? You're like, oh, I mean, well, that's Brie not Bella, necessary. Yeah. Sarah Logan. Not Brie Bella. <laughs> Sarah Brie Logan. Bella. Mark, you couldn't wait to say Sarah Logan. <laughs> I couldn't. No, nah, she wasn't so bad. She's a Viking. I was, I was a little surprised. I eliminated a few boxes of Yoohoo. <laughs> you did. I, I was surprised you could drive home. Well, Michelle McCool. I, I sobered up a good bit. That's good. You know, Michelle McCool. I mean, wasn't a lot of people on the road, so that was good too. You had to, you had a, it was clear, good. You had a clear lane in front of you. Um, I, I followed. Uh, I followed this uh, vehicle home most of the way. Some did sketchy you? people in it. Yeah, there was some sketchy people in there. I can tell you that right now. Huh? Sketchy. Hmm. They had a bumper sticker that said "Only you." Are you serious? I am serious, Mark. I don't even know what that would mean. Only you. <laughs> it had a bumper sticker that said "Only you." Only you. Yeah, it was it was unusual. Hmm. Mark, I I will be pissed if you put an "Only You" bumper sticker on my fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> I got to find one at Roots. It'll be worth the money. That'd be great. Um, can I be Can I be upset that Tamina was in the match? Is that okay? Sure. Yeah, could, she yeah, wasn't a return, but I, I think I'm. Still just disappointed she was in the match. I think the the correct Bella got eliminated first, so that was no. good to see. Hundred percent. I don't think you're, think you're right about that, but it's accurate. Uh. Now, Jim, didn't you thought uh, Tamina was killing it out there in the Rumble, didn't you? Oh, I, I mean, that's what that is what I thought. I mean, they, she kills it everywhere, like father, like the. Oh. Uh, ooh, ooh, sorry, that was not okay. That was not okay. Yeah, um, but, but for real, he killed a man. He he did. Um, he killed a woman. Killed a woman. Oh, was it a woman? Um, it was. Yeah, it was his girl. girlfriend at the time. Oh my girlfriend goodness, I didn't time. know that. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, there, was, there wasn't any of the returns that I disliked. Is there any that I'm you like, didn't uh, care for? It was nice to see Molly Holly again. She's a sweetheart. She is. Yeah, here's another another Royal Rumble that I forget to put Molly Holly on my damn pick 'em board. Wait, she's in every <laughs> single one. How do I always screw up and Molly Michelle Holly? McCool, I, I feel like is in every single one. Although yeah, she was Kelly Kelly. Wasn't Kelly Kelly in a few of them now? Kelly mm-hmm. Kelly's been in almost every one of them. Yeah. Kelly Kelly. She she can uh, legally drink now. She's twenty one. <laughs> that's that's not true, Mark. <laughs> I think she's she's older than twenty one, Mark. I, I feel like she might know. be a little older. I mean, he's not wrong. She can now legally yeah, drink. Yeah, she can legally That's drink. Correct. Right, right. Touché. That is correct. Touché. She can enjoy a Touché. Yoo-Hoo. You know who have plenty of time for drinking these days? Shane McMahon. <laughs> well, that ain't a knee slapper, buddy. As long as his unemployment checks keep coming in. <laughs> the uh, Every night's Friday night for him. <laughs> you're, you're not wrong. He doesn't have to um, worry about busting any capillaries on his face. He's already red enough, too. I am, I am so sad noticed. about this. this he was beat the red. The I can't wait from years from now on this day, which would be uh, <laughs> February 2nd, February 2nd, 2022, Shane McMahon was released from WWE. <laughs> That's, I, I don't think I'll include that. Shane McMahon! <laughs> I'm... I'm sure you will. I probably will. You're right. No, Jim doesn't include bad things that that reflect poorly for the WWE. I mean, I think I have a few times. Maybe. I mean, we just happen to not do podcasts on those days. <laughs> well, that's true. That could be it. <laughs> I mean, I think I think once or twice. Come on, I'm not. Yeah, I am that biased. Um. Yeah, the Raw Women's title match, I thought the match was fine, but it was it was uh, in a bad spot. 
and the distraction of the WrestleMania sign being on fire didn't help. I probably um, anyone help. in that match. Um, that's just that's an awful spot to be in. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. It's tough. Like right after the the women's battle royal. Yeah, it, to to, it, to yeah. come out of that match, that's tough. I mean, yeah. and I'm, I hate to I hate to say it, but like, don't say it. That. All right, go ahead. Either that match was either going to be in the that spot after the women's rumble, or it was going to be the bathroom break spot, and then the mixed tag was going to flip. And I thought the mixed tag was flat for the same reason. Yeah, like you were now anticipating, right? Right. I think Uh, I eventually would like to see Miz and Maurice win one of these mixed tag matches that they talk themselves into all the time. Like it would be nice to see them finally like get the W and as. I mean, just for Maurice, I hope she wins because the Miz wins. But the, I would hope Maurice would get a win, at some right? Point. But I mean, it, for for the both of them, because they're in this situation, because they start these feuds with couples all the time, and it would be like, at at what point do we get? Like, I mean, I don't think we're we not going to see that's the gimmick. We're not going to see TJ and Natty wrestle them, obviously. But I mean, like, TJ could probably do it. Yeah, he absolutely could. I have no qualms about him being in the ring, but like we would <laughs> see, like at some point, the the promos just gonna be like, "Why would we take this match with you guys? You have never won one." Like, <laughs> you're right. Yeah, that that's that is a good point. That that, that at some point they sh- they should probably start winning them, even if um, it's like Becky and and freaking or. Like, give them a, a win of that magnitude, I would say. They have to. Uh, well, Cousin Brian says he had to hold his pee way too long by the time the mixed match came on. Yeah, it's tough. It was way too late in the show. It was. It was. It was. <laughs> and the premium could have went, v- in- went one of those four-minute commercials we got between every match. Oh, those are awful. That's well, on your. That's could- that's your own fault, Brian. It's your These own premium Brian, streaming uh, events or whatever they call them. Yeah, I... I I hate the commercials. Like, I, I mean, from a business standpoint, I get it, but I, I, I absolutely hate it. Like, why don't we I, run one of our commercials right now, Jim? Why would we do that? It's not commercial time. That's how people get paid, right? Is it? <laughs> Wait a minute, you guys are getting paid. <laughs> Mark, we were hoping so, that you, you, who, you a commercial. You're right, man. That you, who sponsorship uh, took hold by this week. Man, I'm hopeful. You know, I'm trying Little Debbie and uh, Sunset Bakery and and Hodecker Celery, and now you. Who the hell has Hodecker Celery or Miriam's Whoopie Pies sponsored us? Even give us free pies and celery. I mean, for God's sakes, it's got to happen one of these weeks. One of these Tuesdays, it's going to happen. I want free pies and celery. Oof, that's a deadly combination. Free Um, pies and celery. What about a celery pie? Ooh, no, you I can, don't. You can make a wet bottom too. How would you like that? <laughs> Herb. Um, Herb. Lesnar, new or uh, Lashley, new WWE champion at the hands of Roman Reigns. And we found out that uh, Paul Heyman was in Roman's corner the whole time. Unbelievable. Um, what you guys think? The swerve, of bro. Is the swerve, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Brian. See, Brian knows how to pay us. You buy, he gets it. You buy t-shirts from us, and over at T Public and what a maneuver, and and we will get paid for that. Dude, those T Public shirts are real nice. They are nice, beautiful shirts. Make the a great gift. They make a great. They're infinitely better than uh, pro wrestling tees. The what a maneuver is great quality shirts for sure they as do, well. Yeah, definitely support them. A, Such a quick uh, turnaround, man, for a direct. It's nice a direct they garment it on the nice yep. material. You don't have to pay like the extra five dollars, like at pro wrestling tees, to get like a shirt that doesn't feel like a burlap sack that you're sliding over. And it's also a shirt you don't have to call your bank about because you got hacked. That's, that, that's, <laughs> that's true as well. True. And you'll get it within the calendar year for sure, if not by the next week. What a great Hopefully, business model yeah. they're running, actually. Just be a decent company. Yeah. Like, Funny. What a new got it. Look at that. Funny. What a maneuver. You know, the Funny Three Count Thursday t shirts make a great Valentine's Day gift. They do. And hell, you go great... to the you go to the T Public site, they got bags and uh masks. So you still get your loved one a pillow. 
You get a, a pillow on Thursday, a pillow, pillow or tapestry, blanket, tapestry. Absolutely. Now, I like this. A sticker. Yes. A nice tote. You know, How about a tote. Tons of options over there. Tons of options. You know, when you're um, shopping at Roots Market, you need a good tote. That's why I have got nice stickers. Look at that beautiful sticker. He's got beautiful, beautiful stickers. Sticker. Look at that. It's a Look sharp ass sticker. Look at that. You can't get that over at Pro Wrestling Tees. Nope. Good luck find that at Pro Wrestling Tees. Absolutely what about, not. They would send you the stickers that when you go like to the like the back. SummerSlam. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, perfect. What a, what a you beautiful what sticker. You from the Summerfest. <laughs> the Summerfest. Um, you know what but, you can uh, get over at Pro Wrestling Tees? What's that? Hack. You can get a hack. <laughs> you can. Um, but yeah, new WWE champion. That's uh, that's fun going into Mania season. Um, hey, now wait a minute. Did we talk about the Melina and Alicia <laughs> Fox being back in the the women's Rumble? Wasn't that your favorite match? What a too? moment! What's your favorite match? My favorite match was with Melina and Alicia Fox. Austin should have been on commentary. Who? No, Who? Jim's favorite moment was when Cameron actually oh, came back. Oh my god! Oh, were there. Yep. Yeah, Man, Cameron, I'm the, 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 the chair move that that we were sitting in and everything. <laughs> oh, that was wild. Yeah, I, hope, I was uh, I was retching as I was about to vomit. What are you talking about? I hope retching. I hope you said something about being a needle lamp. mover. <laughs> Jim broke the lamp in the living room. He was he was wild. I hope you're allowed back. I, I hope so. I hope so. Matt Matt's Matt's daughter was none none too thrilled with me breaking wow. furniture and lamps. She was very she upset. Broke the lamp. I thought we only had one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> lamps. I do have to say that your daughter has an adorable puppy, Matt. The puppy that I had to continue to feed milk to. <laughs> and it was a very nice puppy dog. The first time she's played with that in weeks. Like, really? For some reason that day. That's great. See, Smokey, kids like you. Kids, that's that's it. <laughs> Maybe it's time for you to have a few cubs of your own. Cubs, <laughs> little cubs. Um, you know, uh, your uh, your kids wouldn't have to wear shoes because they'd still have bare feet. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's a stretch, Mark. Don't uh, you know? Here we go. You know, bare feet because the bears are cubs. Because I'm Smokey yeah. yeah. okay, the Bear, only you, only right, bear. Only you. full circle. Oh, you were following us home. Got it. Oh, I was following you home. <laughs> the bumper sticker. Yes. Oh, my goodness. You got the um, other salt life. And that's why I think MJF had the best match of the week. Is, did, did you? Um, men's Royal Rumble match. Or do we want to talk? Did you want to mention anything in the WWE title match? No, it's good. fine. Okay, good. Men, men's Royal Rumble. Um, didn't think it was quite as good as the women's Rumble match. I thought the women's Rumble match was better. Um, do you have any issues with Brock winning? No. I don't think it was necessary. Really. Yeah, I don't have an issue with it, but I don't think that they needed to go that direction. Got to sell if, out Jerry World, man. It's true. Right, but you can still have Brock in the main event with the way yeah. the match finished without him... I, I agree. You had a that solid being said, final, I mean, I don't know forward. who they who they have win that that makes sense storyline wise without you know like a returning the Rock to face Roman, which I don't think they'd do this year anyway. I mean, I mean Shane McMahon could have won. <laughs> Shane could have won. He could have had, had his way. He would have won. Apparently, you could have Bad Bunny in there. Dude, Bad Bunny looked great again. Bad Bunny did look I'm, great. I hate to admit it, but he did. He, he's he's impressed me. Not only can he sing, he can wrestle. Oh, he's a singer. He's a singer. He I is didn't know that. One of the most popular singers around. Are you going to see him in Baltimore? I'd like to. I'll tell you who I'm not going to go see is ASAP Rocky. Why I are would you, cross the street to see him? Are you I jealous? Have no idea who that is. I am Mark's a little stung that, that he stole Rihanna out from and under, he, huh? Not only did he steal Rihanna, he slipped one past the goalie and impregnated her. <laughs> sure did. 
Found the five hole. Is that, is that what the ASAP stands for? ASAP. That dollar sign is going to be the money he's going to spend a little riri. All right, Devin. Yeah, I don't see. It. Yeah, I don't think it was that. It says it was one of the worst Rumble matches in recent years. You know what? I'm I'm agree really? with Jim. That would, thank you. Jim man. kept keeps his picks. I'm not even going to make an attempt to listen back. <laughs> not that I was going to. Yeah, I, like it wasn't it wasn't the the best. Um, like Kofi Kofi not landing his spot for once was a bummer. Kofi wasn't um, going to win though. No, so that oh, he blew a spot. It doesn't um, have an impact on the no, outcome. But you you like to see Kofi's spots. That's one of the things I've. Yeah, I mean, it was. A I like seeing Kofi botch. We've not seen that before. That's true. And no, I mean, that's yeah, different. Fuck he it. had some fun with it on social media afterwards. What do you think? Um, so the the four the, the like it, apparently it went back and forth between Riddle, Drew McIntyre, Randy Orton, and AJ Styles before I they, heard they that finally there was committed literally to the no Riddle reports. I had heard that from like two different sources that Riddle was never even brought into it. I think okay. Riddle would make sense. I also Wait, don't think that's right the right time for Riddle. I don't think Riddle no. helps sell out WrestleMania, unfortunately. So who no, is not Shane yet. trying to bump out of that for himself? Riddle, I would assume. Riddle, I would assume. Is he Riddle. passing those reports himself? <laughs> People are like, was, yeah, I... was Riddle in the final four? And she's like, no, nah, come on. That nah, was me, guys. <laughs> uh, I don't um... think Drew, again, makes a ton of sense. No, no, I think that, I think that doesn't land at all. Would have not at all. Over. I feel like Drew has cooled off considerably. And it's unfortunate. Did you call him Drew? Drew. <laughs> Drew. <laughs> hey, Drew. I also Drew. heard Drew. No, no, I'm, I'm that's Drew. we're not talking about Brett. Oh, that's... come on. Uh... Absurd. One is one is from Scotland, one is from Canada. They're both about the same country. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Drew one lands. Where's the kilt? Like... The other one wears the pens. <laughs> Oh, one carries a sword, the other carries a spittoon, <laughs> or or an oxygen tank, maybe. Here we are, yeah. Um, you yeah, know, I, Brett wears to a formal dinner. What? Depends. <laughs> um, yeah, Styles would have been fine because he's never won one. I would have um, followed Styles, but storyline wise, I don't see him wrestling either <laughs> Bobby or Roman. Like that doesn't Bobby, make sense. Bobby, 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 who, Bobby, who, Bobby. Um, I'm also ready for the WWE just to fucking shake it up one year, right? And just just give us somebody we really wouldn't expect. Omos. <laughs> oh. Like, give me Omos. Omos actually wouldn't have shocked me. I thought there was talk about him a couple weeks ago. That, like, so, like he's who, the new big guy. You? I think, I like, know, uh, Angelo Dawkins. Owens probably would have surprised a lot of people just because they wouldn't have expected him to actually win it. Otis. <laughs> Same with Big Old E, I think. Like, Big E winning would be a surprise because a lot of people would probably, like, there's no way they, they have Big E win this thing. I mean, they could have Otis win it. I just take grew... it from him. I'm into the ring, always attempting murder, swinging the sword around at, at other people. You know what? That's a good. He question. also says Hurricane Helm should have entered in one. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm all right with that. Yeah, I, I think. It, I mean, I think it would be. I think it'd be fun to to do like a surprise winner one of these years. I don't think a year where you have to sell out two nights at no, AT that's not the time to do it. Right. Answer. I think if you have a year where it's back to one night of WrestleMania, if we ever do that, then you can easily have a, a, a men's Rumble winner be a correct surprise, a shot in the dark, and, and that title match can open the show or be third. And you, on the and, you and you close WrestleMania with the women. Yeah, you yep, know. I so, agree. Yeah, this this wasn't the year for it. Um, Devin commented that it was boring near the end. That's where they saved. Surprise, surprise, surprise at like 27, 28, yeah, I was going to say that the last four entrants right. were a surprise. Or, or, or yeah, Mark I Lesnar don't... almost threw Bad Bunny into the third row. Like, I don't... <laughs> I'd say the ending was the, the exciting part. I mean, yeah. I didn't think yeah. Bunny was going to win, so he probably shouldn't have been in the final four. I mean, he you know, was a celebrity was spot. Five? Or was, or was he, he final, final I thought he was final four. 
Uh, I don't know. He might be Final Five. I don't need him coming out as late as he did, but he looked real good. He really did. Yeah. He did. He, yeah, he hit he a lot of good spots. Around. I'm at the spot, unfortunately, like where I don't know how many there were, just the tag teams getting thrown in there. You know, the the profits aren't going to win this. That sucks. But what? what, but I, what feel like, I feel like what with the having them in there. Still, one of these years, you could have Montez Ford win it, and that's what starts his singles runs. Okay, like right. if everybody's talking about him becoming a single star, that's fair. Th- that that's a that's like a smart and and logical way to get there, because then you don't have to split the team. That's a good point. I hear what you're but, saying. But yeah, I, I don't. The dirty I wish dogs. He, I think John. I wish John Knoxville would have lasted a little bit longer. Um, but, but people were thinking yeah, about that. Like it's the first time they had a stupid celebrity in. Yeah. No, that spot could have went to another established. Well, Drew Carey was in there. Right. Like right. it could have. But here's the deal. Like, okay, so it could have went to Finn Balor. So Finn Balor comes in, eliminates two people, and gets thrown out. Then you're just right. going to complain that, that Finn Balor got eliminated too fast. Who is hurt, right? Or uh, out of the country? Yes, for time off. He's out of the country. So yeah. No, he wasn't there because they decided they, to put in a jackass star. That's, oh, that's I read right. that on the internet right. in all caps. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Cesaro is either. still Cesaro's still hurt as well, correct? Is he hurt? I didn't even well, know he was. He should have hobbled his ass to the ring. For get out there, the wrestling fans want you. For at IWC um, Smark. Yeah, I, okay. I, I I can I, I can take Kevin Owens, Devin. I can take Kevin Owens in the final four over Shane McMahon or Bad Bunny. Sure. Who? I, I, over I'll, Shane though? I mean, it was his well, final one of them is still employed with the company. So <laughs> Bad Bunny. Yeah, Bad Bunny's still employed. Um two of them then. Two, yeah, two two of them are, and then Shane's not. It's <laughs> crazy. I'll give you three names: <laughs> Shane McMahon, Kevin Owens, and Bad Bunny. And you tell me the one who's not still employed with the WWE. Shane McMahon. Eva Marie, <laughs> Eva Marie would have been a nice surprise entrant in the Rumble. You would have. <laughs> no, it wouldn't have been. No, it wouldn't have been. Um, so yeah, been training, Jim. She's getting yeah, but better. She's. she's- She's been brushing up on her uh, on her hurricane ranas. Her hurricane ranas with Spanky and her hatred towards other races from with Spanky. <laughs> Did you see his apologies? Good... No, I'm he shocked. He tweeted out two apologies, and he was like, "These are definitely not things that I think." Uh, and then I was like, "Dude, you definitely said like I, me, I in multiple statements." Well, yeah, yeah there's a video backpedaling. from like the high spots where you were like, ah, oh, the moon landing was fake. And uh yeah, dude, that you said some shitty stuff. But find his find his apologies, because those are I'm sorry I got caught apologies. Yeah. I apologize for all the hurt and embarrassment I've caused with my words. These are not my beliefs and never were beliefs of mine, and I crossed the line. I spread the most vile comments without thinking of the damage it was caused. I will I will live with this regret for the rest of my life. I'm truly sorry for the pain I have caused. No, you're sorry you got caught. <laughs> like, like And good for AEW for like quickly yep, changing yep. course. Dismissed him. Now you know, like and, the and WWE, shame on the WWE for not doing their research enough. I don't think AEW did their research. The people on the internet <laughs> did their research. AEW reacted to the people doing that's their fair. research. That's fair. If, if the wasn't... WWE and AEW did their research, he wouldn't have had the, the jobs in the first place. Not, well, like, true when, uh... I mean, the WWE, maybe. <laughs> I mean... I, I saw on uh, the dirt sheets that Whoopi Goldberg was going to be special guest commentator for that match. <laughs> Hendrick and uh, Moxley. Is that true? Or am I thinking I'm, of something possibly. else? I they pulled I her, too. Um, Whoopi. She was bamboozled. He was... She was Brian says all, right. all the forbidden door talk only Mickey James what gives. That well, forbidden the, door talk. I think, yeah, I say, I think the, the forbidden door talk was from wrestling fans. The WWE I think announced the door was Mickey locked. James. I, I don't think the W. I don't even think the WWE did any like wink. Somebody else might be coming along. Um, nah, I don't think so. No, there was a lot of IWC source. Yeah. Trust me, bro. 
Yeah, you know, we oh, are the, our own worst enemy. Oh, Cody's a free agent. Wink. He's gonna. I and like even like Cody coming out last week and be like, I am not going to be in the Royal Rumble. Everybody's like, Oh, that means he is. Oh, here we go. <laughs> like, you know, but that's it's, good it's, business. Like, if you're Cody Rhodes, you want to say that. You want people talking about you on social media. You are as unemployed as Shane McMahon is right now. (laughs) The job market's tough. Right? It is tough. Well, that Uh, new chicken filet is going to open. Maybe Shane can get in there. I heard that's the largest one in Pennsylvania. Ryan says, why only open it for one person? I mean, that business. I I mean, it's it's now been open and and the WWE has established it could happen again. Why not? It's done once. It could happen again. And I think that like, I think the, her entrance to the Royal Rumble on like on their YouTube channel has over like 2 million views. Like, like that's a big deal. um, No offense to Cora Jade. She's not getting 2 million views on the YouTube page. I mean, it's, it's why you got to shit on Corey Jade like that. Who's the first name that came into mind? Cause he You're said there's plenty of ladies. That's Tony Munich. Hawk's nephew or niece. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it, but there was no NXT people in, in either rumble. Fine with that. No, no, I'm fine you know, with that right now too. Yeah. Like I, I, I would, I would her. rather see Mickey James and Molly Holly and you know, Kelly, Kelly. Ivory than, the, the 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 people in NXT because like, so I had to say Cora Jade again. No, I'm not gonna because well, you're just gonna get you're just gonna get hot about it. I'd be okay uh, with some of the NXT women. The men, maybe not so much. I mean, if anybody, I, what I, I would have guessed, um, Raquel Welch. <laughs> Raquel Welch. I would have guessed probably. Boom it. Oh, Brock. Le- uh, yeah, Brock, Brock Breaker. Braun Breaker. Braun Breaker. Brock Lesnar girl. Bron 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 Lesnar. Bron Lesnar. Um, yeah, I, I don't I don't think there I don't think there's any need. Um you know, I don't think there was any need to to, to have NXT NXT in, involved in it. It's they've clearly separated NXT from Raw and SmackDown. They so wanted I, developmental, they got developmental, yeah, they're not good that, enough for fine. the main roster yet. Make <laughs> Worry about making that brand better as opposed to just incorporating them into the Royal Rumble. It's never going to happen again. <laughs> You're no, right. No, but it's uh, dead and buried. Go on. Um, 100%. Gunter. Shane McMahon might as well run it. <laughs> um, the blind lead the blind. <laughs> the the unemployed, and then the unemployed, unemployed lead the unemployed. The unemployed <laughs> lead the soon-to-be unemployed. Yep. Um. It, Shane could book himself to win a War Games match. He could. You're right. In War Games! War Games! War Games! War Games! Can you imagine Shane McMahon saying War Games one time like that? He would be beat red and just oh, four games. War Games! War Games! War Games! What if, when he's trying to catch his breath, it might sound like he said Game Wars. <laughs> games! War- Games. Whoa. Games. Whoa. Games. Raw GM's trying to figure out how to hack the, the soundboard. That's fine. We all have uh, a backup soundboard just in case. Maybe he could partner with uh, Pro Wrestling Tees and then he'd be able to figure out how to hack the soundboard. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, Brian says more like NXT 2.0. Hey, oh. there we go. There we go. Uh, what Dude, do you guys look at grade? The brains on Brian. What do you guys grade the Royal Rumble this year? Brian. Uh, it's the best Royal Rumble I ever saw. Jim A plus. <laughs> Is that what we're supposed to do? No, you can give it an honest grade. I, I, oh, I'll allow all it. right. Yeah, I thought it was uh, It was a B. It was a good Royal Rumble. Not great. Intern Mark. Above average, good. good. Intern Mark. I This might be the you who talking, but I think it was an A. I thought it was a very Ooh, good rumble. The Yoo-Hoo talking. That's yeah. <laughs> Are you drinking some Yoo-Hoo tonight, intern Mark? No, I had uh, some cranberry orange. Well, Mark, there's still a few more Yoo-Hoo's left in the fridge for the next time you come over. You, you know what I'm going to do, Matt? I'll bring some celery and some cream savers for the Yoo-Hoo. We'll barter. Okay. That's a deal. Or maybe we could play Matt, poker. Matt, do not hold your breath. I'm still waiting on my <laughs> amloaf sandwich from the fair last year. Well. It's going to happen. Which fair? Any of them. 
any of them. I got the last not, one at the econ fair. I'm not fair. thinking about my ham loaf sandwiches. Oh, they're so good. They Did you want so cheese good. on that big, Jim? Absolutely. You, I mean, you can surprise me. I'll eat it either way. I love ham loaf with or without cheese. Oh, so good. I mean, great with cheese, but, you know. So good. Am I the only guy from Lancaster County that doesn't like ham loaf? I don't yes. like it. It is just well, not you, good. You live in York County. You're that's true. York County is different from Lancaster. Well, County. well that's true. What type of besides, cheese did you put on it? Mark said that Round the Clock Diner here in York has a good ham loaf. Oh, so. do they, they ever? Probably have coronavirus and a lot of like, power. But I would probably have to come and eat one there anytime soon. <laughs> Honey, what do you want for your two sides? I'll take mashed potatoes and coronavirus. <laughs> Chloe will be right back. Extra white on the mashed potatoes, though. Uh, Devin white. says the Don't be rude, be... Jim. You shouldn't have my pick, Devin. You, you didn't get it right. Seth Rollins is not. You know what? This universe... is on Devin. Devin needs to listen back, Devin's and he needs that. to prove his case. Anybody can case. find the audio. I, I, I mean, I, in... I am stating right now I absolutely will not. I know you won't. <laughs> I'm putting it. I don't even care if it's you guys or Devin. Anybody finds the audio and provides me a clip of it or the timestamp on what episode, and I will verify. And and if and if it is true, if I said if Seth Rollins wins the match, <laughs> I will give him his picks for four weeks. Any the next four weeks after after I get proven, but you have two weeks to do it until we go on the air two weeks from now. That, that that's your time frame. Seven you know, like off? No, but oh, I'm just shit. giving you two weeks. I will not. Next. I will not be here next week. No, wait a minute. You will get Big uh, Mike or Ernest. I don't want to be here next week. Too bad you have to show up. Okay. Is Valentine's Day next I, Thursday? Christ, what is that's that? that? <laughs> that's a good ivermectin hoagie. <laughs> yeah, can I have lettuce and tomato and onion and ivermectin on that, please? Yeah, yes, but extra extra on the ivermectin. Um, Where do you think you are? That's included. <laughs> uh, yeah, you have, to, to, you have to like you have to pay extra to get it removed. Um, <laughs> no, they just kick you out. Yeah, they're... fuck you, commie. Fucking commie, <laughs> beat it, snowflake. <laughs> uh, Matt, what do you give a grade for the Royal Rumble? Um, I'll give it a B minus, just because some of the finishes of the matches were not what I was hoping for, and because Natty was in the Rumble. She got eliminated she twice too, Matt. Twice. She did get eliminated twice. Good. The top half and the bottom half. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. I'll give it a B plus. I you know, I thought it was it was good. It was a good show. Um not nothing wrong with it. I think the overreactions to it were were, were pretty crazy. I mean, there's always naturally bias like that. Yeah. Yeah. 